Hello and welcome. So in our previous video, you have seen how you can transition between terrain during runtime or play mode. So within your game as an in-game feature. And in this video, we're going to explain how you can use it as a utility while you are creating your terrain. Now, one of the things you could do is create save spots. And as an example, I have already created two save spots. So when I first started, I created a save spot once I made my terrain heights. And once I added my trees, I did save spot. I did a bit more work later. I did textures to the terrain and I made another save spot. Now I could keep on working and making more save spot and I could keep on switching between all save spots, but I can make my terrain completely different and it, it would be fine because I can always go back to my old save if I'm not happy with the changes I have made. Now, you could do all of this with a simple feature, so just save and load, but we have an advanced feature as well. And with the advanced feature, you could do extra things, such as when you load your save, I could say I want to load without any saves. And it's just going to load everything without, uh, without any trees, sorry. So it's going to load everything without the trees. I could say maybe I want to load everything but without the terrain heights and without the terrain textures so all I have is just trees and just mind you when you say no terrain textures it will always show the first texture um, it will load everything but the first texture okay and so the other way around the first texture will always show okay um, so keep in mind, but keep in mind when you deselect the terrain textures, it will always keep the first texture. Now, if we look at the first save, we didn't have any textures anyway, so nothing will get loaded. But we can also say we don't want any foliage, we don't want any tree terrain heights, or even terrain holes. So that's the other feature. But let's save this example so let's assume we want to make another save but without any trees so we could load without the trees and now we just say with no trees no trees no trees preset now we could save without any trees now when we load it you could tell that the save has no trees the save has this, this, and this if has no trees. Now I could come and maybe add different types of trees and not use the trees we used before. And we could redraw and then we could save that separately, etc. etc. So that's all that. One thing you need to keep in mind, one thing you need to keep in mind is that the more trees and prefabs you have in your sink, the longer it takes to save. It could easily, if you have 30,000 trees plus, it could take up to two, three minutes for your save to complete it. Whereas if you don't have any trees or any prefabs, it will save it instantly, just like we made this instant save. However, always keep in mind that though the save might take a long time to save, loading is almost always instant regardless of how many prefabs you have. And that's something you can see in our other video when we are loading different scenes, each one with over 50,000 prefabs almost in an instant. Okay. Another thing you could do is create yourself lots of presets. So we can think of this as one of our presets and with our presets generally, Maybe you don't want to have any textures. You just want to keep the terrain height. So we could make this as a preset or we could load this as a preset. And the only thing I'm going to load here is the terrain heights. So this is a nice preset as a stamp. We could call this a preset and save it. So now we have a new preset. We have two presets. We have one, two. And now that we have a preset, you can make so many presets as you like, and then you can export this database. So we can click on the database and select dependencies, and then we can export it into our other project. So we can export it from this project and import it to our other projects. And that way it will save you so much time into 
from from creating new terrain so at least you have somewhere to start from as opposed to starting from scratch you can keep all of this as your presets you don't have to start with just terrain heights you can actually have everything loaded too like trees etc etc and you can just manipulate this data one other thing you could do is you can actually click on your database and instead of just loading your database you could play around with the preset so you could for example uh, click on this preset you can check the trees prototypes you have and you can manipulate the trees by replacing them with different trees and when when you do that and load the preset it would actually load different type of trees as opposed to the ones you have already preloaded